Now let's create the increment file number state and then add file number as a new lane to the data highway. Let's begin by editing the states. Open type def or open the type definition and then edit items. And I'm looking for the expansion state A and that's the one that's going to get renamed. I'll name this increment file number and then click OK. Let's come back to the block diagram. Well, this is interesting. Everything is all grayed out on the states. That's because I still have the type definition open. Let me close that with a save. All right, now everything looks fine. And let's go to the increment file number subdiagram. And this state description is increment file number. Let me edit the data highway to place the file number as a new lane. I'll begin by using control, shift, and drag on one of the existing numeric indicators. Call this file number. Now this is supposed to be an integer instead of a floating point value, so I'll change the representation to I32. Let's close that with a save. And let's tap into the data highway with an unbundle by name function. Select file number. And eventually I want to place that back into the data highway. We'll use bundle by name. Select file number. And then wire this in such a way that the data highway is replaced with this updated value. Let's go to the numeric palette and find increment. This way we read the value from the data highway, read the file number, increment it, and then place it back onto the data highway. Finish up here with just a little bit of tidying up. Let me select the whole thing and center this a bit more in the sub diagram and we're set.